M0FXB, welcome to my channel. SCU LAN 10, I really rate it. I think it's an excellent system for using your computer, FT101 and DX10 and the 710, locally at home with your PC or remotely around the world. And someone's pointed something else out to me, which I actually didn't realize. When you connect the 101, the way you connect it is you get this cable here, ACC cable. Plug one into here, which goes into the back of your radio, and you plug in the LAN. And that's all you need. It gets the power from these items. But the 710, this is what's been pointed out to me, if I can get this one out. It's got a little latch there, look. So you push down and the LAN, let's just take that out for now. The 710 doesn't have an ACC connection. It relies on its USB connection. I'll show you a diagram, and yes, you still connect the LAN, but also you need DC in. Now, for some reason, they haven't provided the DC in cable in the box. You think they would, but it's not actually an expensive cable. So I've been searching around, and I found that my Yesu 817 cable does fit. The voltage that they're saying is DC 9, 16, volts to it and 800 milliamps okay so i think that's going to work tell me if i'm wrong i'll show you the diagram there's a diagram of the 710 there's a diagram showing the lan for the 710 setup you can see that the lan cable goes in to the right of that, USB cable, printer style cable, and then you've got your DC and then it will all come to life. This is the DX10 system, just, just while I'm here I might as well show you, DX10. And the 101, and you'll see that there's no DC in required, just the ACC and the printer cable. Bye for now, thanks for watching, 73.